In this video, you will learn how to successfully apply Dynock brand architectural finishes to tabletops. You will learn two ways to wrap the film around corners. One is by conforming heated film around the corner. The other way is a cut and overlapped corner, which is the preferred method. Before applying film, always clean the substrate to be sure it is free of dust and contaminants. Wipe with a solution of 70% isopropyl alcohol and 30% water and wipe dry. Be sure your hands are clean and free of dirt and lotions to avoid contaminating the adhesive. And always work on a clean surface with clean tools. You will need these tools. A cutting tool with break-off blades, a 3M brand applicator PA1 gold squeegee. Protect one edge with a soft loop side of 3M's hook and loop tape or a 3M brand low friction sleeve PA1 or soft cotton cloth wrapped and taped onto the squeegee. A liner cutter. This tool has a guide under the blade that slips between the film and liner, so you cut only through the liner. One option is Seam Buster, a product from Advanced Equipment Manufacturing. It is available online and at many major hardware and home improvement stores. 3M Brand Adhesion Promoter. 3M's Primer 94 is a solvent-based product. And 3M Brand Sandpaper. To determine the length of the film that you'll need to cover the tabletop, measure the length of the table, plus the height of the tabletop edge times two, plus eight more inches. Apply 3M Brand Adhesion Promoter to the edges of the clean tabletop using the brush. Allow it to dry for five to 15 minutes. About eight inches from the leading edge of the film, Use the liner cutter to make two straight parallel cuts through the liner, about two inches apart, and remove the liner from that area. Make the cuts as straight as possible, which will allow removing additional liner easier as you move through the application. Lay the film on the tabletop so the exposed adhesive is a few inches from the edge of the table. Lightly adhere the film to the tabletop using your hand. Remove a few inches of liner from the film. Use an edge protected squeegee to adhere the exposed adhesive to the tabletop. The proper squeegee technique is to work from center to edge, center to edge, always pushing the air to the nearest edge and using firm overlapping strokes. Lift the film and roll back a few inches of the liner. While holding the film taut with one hand, start squeegeeing where the film is already adhered. Remove the rest of the liner and squeegee just to the edge of the tabletop. For purposes of this video, we are only showing a partial tabletop installation. First, let's look at how to wrap a corner by heating and stretching the film. Working on one corner, bring a heat gun to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Holding the gun about 6 inches from the film, pass it back and forth over the corner area of the film until it becomes warm and relaxed. Use care not to overheat the film or burn your fingers. Working quickly, put down the heat gun on a safe surface, but don't turn it off. Grasp the edges of the film to stretch and conform it over and slightly under the corner of the tabletop. With your fingers, conform and adhere the film to the corner, just on the vertical sides. Heat the film on the vertical table edge adjacent to the corner. Hold the film with one hand while squeegeeing the table edge. Use care to avoid creating wrinkles. Continue heating, stretching, and squeegeeing the rest of the film on the table edge, stopping about an inch from the next corner. Notice how the installer is using the edge of his squeegee to stroke downward and make a clean, crisp edge. Now, heat the film and squeegee the table edges on the other side of the corner. Later, you'll see how to finish the bottom edges of the table. Use the heat gun as needed to keep the film warm as you conform it to the table's edge. Repeat the procedure for conforming the film to the other corners of the table. Now, let's look at how a corner can be finished with an overlap. Identify the exact top corner of the tabletop. Cut the film from the underside, starting at the corner of the table. Roll back one side of the film while wrapping the other side around the corner. Adhere it with your fingers first to shape it. 
and then use the squeegee to get a good bond. Trim the wrapped part of the film to about one half inch from the corner, cutting it all the way out to the edge of the film, and then remove the excess. Apply adhesion promoter to the half inch wide piece of film that is wrapped around the corner. Allow it to dry for five to 15 minutes. Allow the film that has not been adhered to gently lay over the edge of the tabletop. Using your fingers, adhere the film over the top edge, making a clean, crisp edge. Hold the bottom edge of the film with your fingers to create some tension, which helps avoid wrinkles. Use a squeegee to firmly adhere the overlap of the film at the corner, and then squeegee the remaining edge of the tabletop on that side, stopping an inch or two from the next corner. To remove excess film at the overlap area, hold the blade at a 45 degree angle to the flat edge of the tabletop and carefully cut away the excess film. Now, refine the edge by very gently and lightly sanding any rough edges using a piece of fine grit sandpaper. Now, finish the bottom edges of the film. Use a clean, sharp blade to trim the film along the bottom edge of the tabletop. Just as you did with the overlapped corner, finish the bottom edges of the tabletop by very gently and lightly sanding any rough edges using the sandpaper. That's how easy it is to transform a tabletop with 3M's Dynock brand architectural finishes. Please see our website for more videos on applying 3M's Dynock brand architectural finishes.